Okay, as you can see, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to come to Africa, much like you there at home. And uh, what I want to talk about is now that everything is done, we've recovered our trophy. We've taken great trophy photos, as many as possible, because you only get one chance for those. It's time to skin it. Because we're up in the mountain, we're going to skin it here on the mountain, so I want to discuss the cuts. If you're going to do a shoulder mount kudu, or any animal, they're all the same, you want to come down the back of the neck on one side of the mane or the other. And if you want your kudu to turn left, you want your seam on the right, vice versa. But you, it's important to get m enough shoulder to come back behind this leg line, back in here, and cut your animal to leave plenty of shoulder for the taxidermist. That way they can do, do a uh, pedestal mount or a shoulder mount. The next cut would be coming up the back of the leg, and we like to leave to this joint on the leg that gives plenty of space for the taxidermist to work in a shoulder, um, that shoulder pocket on your trophy. So you come up the back of that seam and what we like to do is come in a V, leave as much as this to your circle. So you come right past to here. So if you draw a line and a line, there's your shoulder. Cut down the back. Peel off, that's your shoulder mount. Now, if you want a full body mount, the difference is you want to make a relief cut behind the head down the back of the neck so you can pull your, your skull and horns out. But you're gonna cut from your foot all the way up this line. And again, we like to come in a V. Leave enough brisket here so the stitches will be covered right in here. And then the line right down the belly, right to the back, just one side or the other of the privates of the animal. You go one side or the other of the privates of the animal, you come to the seam and right down the back of the leg and then you have a full body cut, belly skinned animal. This is the wildlife gallery and these are your memories because this is my memory. <laughs>